Next, we have Veronique Martin. Uh, she was one of the first to go on the program when it was uh, created. Uh, let's hear from her reflections on, on the program and, and her journey. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for having me. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that I owe my life, that is my adult life from the age of 20 to Erasmus. Thanks to Erasmus, ordinary people like me have been given access to an experience previously open only to rich people with connections. It all started for me in early 1984 during a grammar lesson in Grenoble University in France, when the lecturer asked a full amphitheater who would like to spend the first term of their degree year in Scotland, in Dundee. I'd never heard of Dundee, but had always wanted to go to Scotland and my hand went up immediately. I remember my dad driving me to catch the train in Lyon in October 1984 on my way to Dundee, telling me that I was living his dream and that he was so happy for me. All my departure nerves vanished and I felt incredibly lucky to have such an opportunity ahead of me. When we, five young French Erasmus guinea pigs, eventually arrived in Dundee, exhausted after a long and eventful trip, we were immediately greeted with warmth and kindness. We were put in different student accommodations, which encouraged us to get out of our French comfort zone and strike friendships with other students. That night, a cheese and wine party was organized by the staff in our honor, and the rest is history. During our term, the lectures and seminars were excellent, and there was a lot of pastoral care, something we'd never experienced in France. We were introduced to everybody at the university and invited to meet important members of the local community. We could see the exchange was significant. We were part of something big. Everything was new and fascinating to me, the food, the architecture, the culture. I remember feeling my mind was expanding and at the same time, I felt like a missing component was entering my life to make me feel part of a meaningful whole. I met people from the UK, but also from all over the world. And I recall a precise moment in the kitchen of a student flat during a party when I felt something close to an epiphany about our common and profound human nature. When we arrived back in Grenoble after our first term in Dundee, a team of, pe a team of people sorry, came from Brussels to interview and film us. I hope that our enthusiastic reviews of our stay helped convince deciders in the then EEC that Erasmus was a worthwhile scheme. As soon as I was back in France, I wanted to return to Dundee. I had made real friendships there, most of them British. One of those friends has been my husband for 33 years, and another three are still close friends. Two of them have built their lives in their respectful Erasmus countries. After I passed my degree in Grenoble, I became once again an, Eram an Erasmus guinea pig, this time for a whole academic year, 1985 to 1986. It was the year that changed my life. I fell more deeply in love with the experience of living in the UK and realized I no longer wanted to live in France. I was still French, but I was also becoming European. I need an identity that became mine for my whole adult life. That is until June 2016 and the Brexit referendum. Before that, I cherished being European, feeling at home everywhere in the EU. But Brexit, unfortunately, made me lose the deep sense I had that the UK was my home and the warm glow of my hybrid identity. Erasmus, to me, is the beating heart of the European project. We study, live and work together and we realize we have so much in common. Creating strong human and personal ties between people is the best way to ensure fruitful collaboration and peace. That Europe of people is what makes the European project so unique and powerful. It's a miracle we've managed to put behind us centuries of hate and wars. But as we are now at risk again of falling into division and rabid nationalism, exchanges like Erasmus are more important than ever. 
Rejoining Erasmus would be for the UK a great first step, but I think it needs freedom of movement to fulfill its deep transformative potential. Without freedom of movement, I couldn't have stayed after my studies to build my life in Britain. The same can be said about my two British Erasmus friends who went on to settle in France and Germany. Losing Erasmus for UK students is like losing a multitude of opportunities and freedoms on their doorstep. So to conclude, I want to thank Erasmus for the life it's allowed me to pursue, me and tens of thousands, I think even millions of others. Four years ago after me, my sister went on an Erasmus exchange to Barcelona. It changed her life too, as she's lived there ever since, married to a Spaniard. They've had a daughter who is 18 and who, although brought up in Spain, is now studying in France. Last year, she won a prestigious French academic prize and I attended the award ceremony at the Sorbonne in Paris. It deeply moved me when she thanked Erasmus for the fact she even exists since her parents met thanks to the exchange. She's trilingual, French, Spanish and Catalan and great at English. If you ask her what is her identity, she answers European. She's looking forward to her Erasmus year. To me, her voice is the voice of hope and of the future. Thank you. Thank you, Veronique.